Jersey's never been part of the UK or the EU. It is a crown dependency like Guernsey and the Isle of Man, which have unique ties to the British crown and have never been subject to the English parliament. It has its own national assembly, les états de Jersey, its own government, its own laws, and its own legal system, which incorporates elements of Norman law. It formed part of the Duchy of Normandy in 1066, when its Duke conquered England and added the English crown to his list of titles. In 1204, the Jersey nobility agreed to retain allegiance to King John after he lost his mainland and Norman territories because he pledged to respect their traditional rights and freedoms and allowed them to govern themselves with their own laws, administration, and taxes. The native language of the island is Gerier French, and modern French was the sole language of les états and the Jersey legal system until the First World War. As an Anglo-Norman island, Jersey has always maintained stronger ties than the UK has to Europe. Moreover, its experience during the Second World War has much in common with Europe, as unlike the UK, it was subject to Nazi occupation. And this was the seminal episode in Jersey history. And I included a picture of a German soldier standing in Charing Cross, which is just right around the corner from where our office is. By treaty, the UK provides us with foreign policy and defense services, though some people in Jersey believe that the UK doesn't provide these very well, as given that the only time that they really needed good defense services was during the Second World War when the UK did nothing to stop the German invasion or to hasten their, their departure. Jersey has been ex asserting itself internationally by signing its own treaties. It has offices in London, Brussels, Caen, and Paris. It also participates in international associations and bilateral relationships that exclude the UK. Les États de Jersey are part of the Association Parlementaire de la Francophonie. Jersey and Guernsey government officials hold regular summits with government officials from Brittany and the Department of Ile et Vilaine, which is the administrative title for the Normandy region. My office also has a pending application for membership in the Association Francophone des Autorités de, de Protection des Données Personnelles. As the Jersey economy is overly dependent on the UK, it is seeking to diversify its new financial markets in Africa, the Gulf, Far East, and North America. It is also expanding existing markets in Europe. As a small island economy seeking a greater role on the international stage, it is crucial for Jersey to preserve its reputation as a well-regulated jurisdiction that upholds international standards. It must be a safe place to invest, do business, and store data. It has implemented world-class standards of financial regulation and takes great pains to distance uh, itself uh, from the misconception that it is a tax haven. Striving to maintain the free flow of personal data from Europe and the UK is one of Jersey's economic goals. The European Commission recognized Jersey as an adequate jurisdiction under the previous data protection regime. Jersey wants the Commission to confirm its new regime as adequate under GDPR. The Jersey government is eager to comply with all of the requirements of the European Commission to achieve this end and this is a high priority for its employees at the Channel Islands Brussels office. For my part, I take every opportunity to demonstrate to the commissioners on the European Data Protection Board our commitment to protecting all personal data in accordance with European standards. Jersey demonstrated its eagerness to comply with the GDPR when, along with Guernsey, they became the first non-EU countries to pass new legislation to meet the GDPR standard. Their laws came into force on the 25th of May, 2018, which preceded the implementation dates of several EU member states, and there continue to be several states outstanding. Jersey's laws include the Data Protection Law and the Data Protection Authority Law. 
The first implements the new requirements for public agencies and private sector organizations governing the management of personal data in compliance with GDPR. The second establishes a new independent authority to regulate the implementation of the first. The Jersey laws have a unique statutory structure, but their terms replicate the GDPR in every meaningful sense. Many passages are verbatim from text of the GDPR. To provide just two of many examples, the principles relating to the processing of personal data and the criteria for determining the application and extent of fines are virtually identical to the GDPR Articles 5 and 83. 